Well, this is unusual and fancy. I'm recording vertically instead of horizontal. Horizontal sucks. Horizontal? You can't abbreviate it easily. It should be sideways, I guess. So sides versus tops, I guess. Verts. Verts and sides. Um, anyway, I am lazy and I have done something unjust, which is I have focused on printing 3D prints of numbers and failed to focus on pressing shirts that shit in a bucket paid for that have just been on my floor for months. And I don't even know how long. And the reason is that way back there, my shirt press is on its side and it will remain there until I get back from New Mexico on the 27th or the 28th. Um, and then I'm going to make an effort to get it out and try and clear off this desk a little and start printing some shirts. And it shouldn't take too long before I have uh, proud to be or I am a N word or NFT or all these different types of shirts that um, we could make and wear. Now understand when I print a shirt, it's fate is to end up like this. That's Hanumality. And it's just an MSP. Um, but this is just a blue shirt with me shirt pressing. So it's not going to be like a miracle. But eBay and Amazon and most of the sellers will not let you sell nigger friendly shirts because it is so unusual. I'm learning for me to be such a negaritarian and for people to uh, openly use and like this word and insist that they are this word, you know? Um, it's very rare. Uh, Nas tried it and his album's title got censored. So, I mean, it's an uphill battle. And so making the shirts is only, you know, necessary and obvious. And so I guess this video is an apology, not just to shit in a bucket, but to all niggers, I've, I have not lived my life responsibly. And that has put, especially people that think they're nigger faggotards, but especially if they're niggers uh, and they're not faggotards, depending on where you self-identify, how much of that e seeps into your psychological being and consciousness. I owe you an apology for not being a good representative um, because that's what I made myself. And I just did it because I thought Russell Lawrence Lee deserved it. And now I'm, I have to do it. But in my secretive heart of hearts, I prefer this work to niggering because it's been internalized. All that negrophobia that used to be external to me and what I considered to be my family, all of that negrophobia got in there, man. Now I, I only say nigger when I say it like this, nigger, like a, a sweet little, oh, it's okay. And part of me is like, you know what? It's not okay. And so I want to make the shirts. I'm responsible to make the shirts and I'll wear the shirts, but like during this vacation, I will be wearing my unicorn horns to promote counting in animal. And so this is probably something that I will do more to perfect than this, uh, or than, than the proud to be nego shirts. And it's just part of how I've developed and kind of how the chaos in my room got uh, congealed that I, that I entertained that more vigorously than I followed through in. And I, I feel like shit because shit in a bucket really didn't have to buy these shirts. And he's, you know, grade A, you know, he's always been very supportive, very respectable and decent. 
and I, I've been lazy and selfish and I'm, I feel guilty and I feel helpless. <laughs> and so I need to fix one of those. I'm going to fix the helpless. I'm going to do it after this trip.